Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. Reggie here. We're doing something a little different because this is the Blizzard Entertainment Legendary Collection Trader Cards. Eight cards per pack, seven packs per box. Nice. Also from Upper Deck, a lot of things are Upper Deck, but this has a special opening for me, as in this is one of the series that my dad enjoyed when he was alive. So I want, this was something I said to myself when I got it that I wanted to open but get to record my thoughts of different things that I remember my dad playing and playing throughout the years as well. And kind of like a memory capsule in some sense, but because I had said to myself and my mom and sister to agree with me that I was I brought it because I figured dad would want me to have it since I was wanting to get it for him so that's why I have this is I may not talk as much on this video and I apologize in advance and hopefully I don't cry on stream <laughs> on the for you guys but let's go ahead and open this So, packs wise, they all had the, their the name, name stuff. Oh, this is Collective Horde and Mountain Core Parallels. So, maybe there's more to this at some point. If someone can help me find them, feel free to let me know in the comments below. These cards, just being honest with you, I have no clue what's in them, I don't know or what to look out for and stuff like that. So, with this in mind, we, uh, we have RPM Racing. An RPM Radical Psycho Machine Racing Player Zoom over asphalt dirt and ice as they progress through 24 levels of increasing track difficulties, create their own original track designs. Well, okay. We have the card Farah from Overwatch. Very admiring commitment to duty runs in her blood. She comes from a long line of highly decorated soldiers and burns with the desire to serve with honor. We have a tracer card. Card. Uh, maybe silver is rare. That's what it seems like at the moment. 20 tooting twin pulse blaster uh, twistles not blasters energy based time bombs and rapid fire banter tracers able to blink through space and rewind her personal timeline as she battles to right wrongs the world over we have a red label rp PM This is Horde on it. So it looks like Horde is a rare variety. Okay. Gonna put those together. 
We have the Hablo. <laughs> okay. He is the root of all fears. Being dick within mortal minds. He is the nightmare that quicken us, sweating in the dark. He is an entity of pure malice and deathless evil. We have Sojin from Mortal Warcraft. Or oh, just Warcraft. Sojin. Is chief warlord and general hero to the Portals. Yes. We have Imperius from Diablo, I think. Yep. Imperius is the leader of the Gradius and Gradius Council, where he commands the warrior host of the High Heavens. I played a little bit of two before because I was in a beta when I used to play World of Warcraft but I never played the original one and then Medivh World of Warcraft I think after I stopped playing if I know this guy correctly you know he was the last guardian of Trace of home and an ancient line of protectors, so it's with great magic powers to do battles with the ancients. So that the burning legends. Wait, this burning crusades. This is wow. Burning this pack. Necrofizzle? I think Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Mm, yes. It's remembering correctly. MC Necrofizzle. One of the most powerful warlocks alive. MC Necrofizzle is utterly fearless, sharp as a razor, and always cool under pressure. And no warlock. <laughs> we have. ATC Interesting Here's the star I wasn't sure about that icon How are the horde incarnate by Burnwit Rhythm <laughs> Listening guitarist to the most elite Charn Titan to ever head been across the surface of Azeroth Nice We have Grand Moon also from Heroes Storm Most most aliens in Greenman is afflicted by the Worgen's curse. Though he feels far for his people's ill fate, he has embraced his enemies without giving in to his feral nature. Nature giving in to his feral nature. There we have Lanara. I think Carson. Daughter of the demigod Cinerius. Cinerius. Lenore was forbidden from retaliating against the mortals who explain nature's splendor, much to her displeasure. We have a horde variant in Diablo that's called. She's called. Adria. Adria. A powerful witch and mother of Leah, Andrea once led a coven against my bad. We have a silver trillion Warcraft. Just Warcraft. Jim Tom was a Adam Lothar's second in command during the Second War. Later he led the Alliance Expeditionary Force Beyond the Dark Portal, where try to thwart the Dark Plains of Hazul. We 
we now have Gul'dan. Oh, I know who this guy. From World of Warcraft. Together, Medea and Gona, the Dark Portal, unleash the orcs on Azeroth and beginning the first war. And then we have from Starcraft, Tassadar. Fascinated by the power and mysticism of the Renegade Dark Templar cast, Tassadar was able to combine this iconic power and destroy the Zerg of Mind at the cost of his own life. Starcraft is a game series that is kind of like Outlast if you ever played it. <laughs> Outlive, excuse me, not Outlast, where it's kind of like a turn based but it simulated in real time that you, there's no pause in the game, really. So, just something interesting. Another golden card. And this time from Godot. From Hearthstone and I said World of Warcraft. And once called Darkness Incarnate and Destroyers of Dreams, Goldarm was the first warlock and considered one of the most powerful warlocks to ever existed. From Heroes of the Storm, we have Freya and Storm Rage. Planning with nature and entire scenarios through the Emerald Dream, Freya protects the wilds from demonic. Alright, we now have uh, Manor Roof. I can't remember how to pronounce him correctly, but from more work half. More than just a vicious brute Manor is also extremely knowledgeable and adept spellcaster having to been in trust with using the Well of Attorney to open the portal for the Legion. Next, we have from here is a storm on Araka. Once a proud noble being king, Araka dared to stand against the Lich King of Venetians, but despite his bravery, he too fell to the unrelenting scourge. From Starcraft, we have the drone, Zerg drone, I think. The drone can duly serve the swarm and absorbable compulsion to expand by sacrificing its own body to the mutation of new colony organs, what we call building. Yep. From that, we have Bile. Is most known, known but by most as Mal, is Lord of Destruction. He revels in the other nation of not only the world around him, but also those who inhabit it. We have from Warcraft, Arthur's Menahir. It also became Lich King. From World of Warcraft, if you have fallen into darkness as completely as the former, so learning and Arthur's Minita. His story is a warning to those seeking revenge at any cost. Also from World of Warcraft, Terran Gorefield. But Warcraft loops from the ranks of Death Knights comes Terran Gorefield. Gorefield shares the desires of Brazil to open numerous portals. We have the fourth pack opening now. So far, and the dog barking in the background. Give me one second. Next 
pet pet opening. Bird. Mushroom. Where's them? Listen. Of the legendary Gormash Hellstream. Discover his stuff worth under the guiding hand of Thrall. Thrall, a master of the elements and powerful shaman. We have rock and roll racing. Featuring multiple race tracks and a classic soundtrack, rock and roll racing, but players behind the wheel of the over the top racing experience. <laughs> Next, we have Cass Cassia from Here's the Storm. The shattering the world stone, the young Amazon. Cassie has changed. She has seen hatred too, and destruction firsthand. If the uh, Shaki were to survive the darkness, they needed the army. Sorceress of the former leader of that nation of Terramore. She now resides in her homeland of Catarius, leading it as Lord Admiral. Uh, we have another guy from World from Warcraft, Chagall, the, the twin ogre. Was what? Was a powerful two headed ogre mage who was one? As the apprentice of the Orc Warlock, Gordon. We have the Diablo Durrell. Durrell. Durrell, brother to Andariel, is also known as the Maggot King or the Lord of Pain. And last one at this set, we have from, I think, Warcraft. I don't remember. Be war, war. Zen curious. Is this uh, yep, just for uh, serious master of the legion used Mediva to bring the savage or orcs to the world of Azeroth. Three more packs. From Overwatch, using Valkyrie to keep up, keep her close to uh, to teammates like the Carnage, healing, resurrecting, or shrinking them. The beams emanating from her Cadeus staff. And we have here the Storm Lady. Aji from Hearthstone. After the Great Sundering, Lady Faj was transformed into another. Many other members of a Sharia court. We have Blackthorn, which is another game before World of Warcraft and Diablo. Blackthorn players take on the role of Blackthorn, a lethal commando equipped with strength, animal cunning, and a mysterious past that he had just begun to remember. If someone wants me to play some of these older games of Blizzard to showcase them, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Alright, 
we have Kandar from Here's a Storm. Princess Simandela, Gagar discovered that Medivh was possessed by Sagaris and sought to destroy him. We have a horde variant of Hera. Miel from Diablo, the Lord Lies, Belial is master trickster and deceiver. Belial advocates the notion that perception is reality and his sole purpose is to dominate reality. Also from the Nam. The Lord of Glenny is one of Amazon Zonda seven loyal lieutenants. And last we have Lady Vash. But this time in World of Warcraft series, or just Warcraft, was the daughter of Sarah Vash, leader of the city of Vajir. As the highborn Sir Vash served as a favor handing to Queen Asheria, usually devoted to her queen. Alright, two more packs. Sorry about the young guys, if y'all heard it. And then from here is the storm, we have Elian. Or Hearthstone, excuse me. He's a fraternal friend of Mephirian Storm Rage, and like his brother, Baz the friend of Tyrant Whisperhand Melian before the Great Sundering. We have from here the storm this time. Then Gira. Rums the Nexus armed with the Segment and chain store making and we're living at Montana while she searches for survivors. From World of Warcraft, we have Kama. Kama alien and release Maya to help hunt the alien. For an alien, aided by the group of heroes in Kama, Maya defeated alien in the Black Temple. We have a whole variant of a win. Power Source and England teamed up with Lady Jane and Paramore to defeat the demonic Zoa and the Burning Blade. From Warcraft and Don Luther. Don Luther. And as the Lion of Azra was a legendary war and noble leader of Stormwind. From Starcraft, we have Zerling. Well, from the Agile Dimrunners of the same world, Zikesh. Struggling serve as the swarm frontline they assault troops to serve as lookouts and assault troops. <clears throat> we have the from Diablo Marquis. Nice and Lith gathered other angels and demons who had no worry of the eternal conflict. Together these rebels stole the world stone. And last one of this pack, we have Uther Lightbringer from Warcraft. As the first paladin, and the first of the five members, Knights of the Silver Hand. Any last pack to open? We have from here is a storm, touches Finley. Drink of three, prom promised 
And if credit and there's no job in the universe too dangerous for this at all. Also from here is from Zul. Remember the secret priest of Ramen? Or their neck going through Zul? Zul wields powerful death magic and fights to preserve the delicate palace between order and chaos. From Hearthstone. Mm -hmm. Google. Well, most warlocks are more likely to have visitors for lunch than they are to invite them over for tea. Morgan, the oracle has wisdom, wit, and the worth, worth thrill to fight it the good fight. Ouch. We have Warcraft. World Warcraft, excuse me. We have Malkos. Was being, was one of the five dragons chosen by Tyr, being with the essence of the Petalian. Was killed by, after declaring war on all battles, well castles in Nexus War. We have a rare tracer from Dala. We have Leah. He's the daughter of the witch Andrea and Aiden. The hero who dispatched the other underneath the trees, stem cathedral. From the Starcraft, we have probe. That's the Python users. The probe is the unsung war palace of the Rotus. Excuse me, especially in military efforts in the Corporal sector. These robotic drones gather the gas resources necessary to power through. Basic Rotus technology. And then the last thing from from Warcraft, Karam Wildhammer. Is the famed Griffin Warrior who was the chief tandem of the Wildhammer clan during the Second War and one of the heroes of Lion's expedition to Draenor. Alrighty, and that's all of them. So we'll see what happens. Happens next with these guys. So, Pokemon. But I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure of not doing Pokemon train parts. And I was gonna talk about more memories of dad, my dad, dad in this video, but some of these I couldn't think of any because not all of these was World of Warcraft. Yeah, but. In general, a lot of different memories between. I know my dad played the Warcraft series before it was World of Warcraft, and we both played StarCraft One and Two. It'd be cool to see a three eventually, but I highly doubt that's gonna happen. But we played the World of Warcraft series and every once in a while, and still think about trying to. Make sure I still have access to Dad's account just in case I want to play it. But with that in mind, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm glad I didn't cry to on the stream on the recording. So I hope you guys enjoy what you see and hope hope you guys enjoyed it. And sorry, I'm repeating multiple times, but if you do, feel free to like the video and. Let me know if there's a set that you would like me to open at some point, point, or if you want to help me get a set, set to open, open. We'll see what happens. So, with this in my mind, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it here. See you next time. I'm opening a pack. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy your morning, afternoon, evening, depending on when you was watching this video.